We were blindfolded, we were taken in a car, we were led to some security center. I was placed in a room next to another room where I could hear screaming and shouting and, and constant slapping. Uh, my blindfold was taken off, but I could see that the Syrians around me that were coming in and out were all the time blindfolded. And I can assume, and having spoken to activists that have been in this situation, they were blindfolded and beaten. Yeah, this, is a, this, is a, this is the first stop before, I think it's about a six hour stay here before you're taken to the security center prison, which is uh, a dungeon basically in a basement. Because of my British passport, I was, I was relieved of that, uh, the, to endure that day and night. In fact, I just endured it by the night. By the day, I lived upstairs with the security uh, police. Uh, but d daily and nightly, I mean, usually around 3 a.m., each night in this place, you would hear the most howling, horrific cries of people being whipped and tortured, basically. And when I, when, when I, when I was taken down there, my, my, I was eventually given a room next to what I called the torture chamber, which was basically a room which had huge amounts of belts. In fact, when I left, they took my belt t t to add to the collection. Um, and, 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 and there was a cable that must have been an, an inch thick and inside the cable were four electric wires so if you imagine the electric wire that goes to your kettle there was a there was a cable with four of these inside it must have been like an inch thick and they'd they'd, they'd, they'd manufactured a handle at the end of it and the, 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 the whole the whole thing had taken the natural form of a of an arc as it had hit repeatedly on the backs of God knows how many of these guys uh, you know, the Syrian government repeatedly denies that they're torturing anyone, and yet we have seen video after video of people whose bodies have been returned to their families bruised uh, with the signs of, of shocks. Uh, we've seen, you know, a child whose, whose genitals were cut off, uh, whose kneecaps were damaged. It, it seems hard, listening to your account, to believe what the Syrian government has been telling us. I mean, we, we, we haven't believed it so far, but your account just verifies that people are, without a doubt, being tortured. But, you know, towards the end of my stay, I would befriended my guys upstairs. In the daytime, I would, I would, spend, I would spend hours and hours with my interrogators, and, and the, the head guys spoke love, perfect English, and they were all quite, you know, Anglophiles, and they, you know, they enjoyed my company. And the irony was they would treat me like a king. They would treat me so respectfully and so beautifully, but, but, the, but downstairs, they were treating their own people so horrendously. It, it, for me, it was so disturbing. It was so shocking. And, and now your belt has been added to, to, the, to the room of other belts. I mean, that's such a, just a, a horrific thing to imagine. And I can only assume it was it's added because it was a real belt. The belt that they gave me when I was leaving, I said, I'm not leaving here until you give me back my belt. And they said, we can't, we can't find your belt. My belt was a proper leather belt. It was a big, thick leather belt. It was made out of leather. The belt that they gave me back was plastic. And I can only assume they took my belt because it was a proper belt for beating. The fact that they would allow you to hear all this, to see all this, and, and, and realizing you would talk about it, they, it's almost as if they don't care or, or they don't even think in those terms. The, the Fed. Uh, all they made me watch day in, day out was Syrian TV, of, and, and all they kept talking about were terrorists, terrorists, terrorists. We would never open fire on our own people. You've got to understand it's, a, it's an American conspiracy and U.S. conspiracy. They will not accept, accept. It's the will of the people. It's the will of the Syrian people that have taken to the streets to finally speak for freedom. They cannot, they cannot see this or accept this. And uh, they keep uh, the force fed this propaganda from state run television about terrorists and foreign fighters in the country and the idea that the Islamists are going to take over and they're all got guns and they're going to kill. I, I, I mean, I really think to the extent that they really, I mean, that they believe it. And I think that's the, that's the power of the regime. The regime have absolutely brainwashed the security services into believing this so much. Sean McAllister, I'm sorry for what you went through, but I admire your courage and I appreciate you speaking out tonight. Thank you.